Hey, I'm Mark. And I'm Kelly. In today's project, we're going to take this 60-inch TV off the console and mount it to the wall so we can get it a little higher and tilt it. Um, I'll show you all some tricks to making it a little easier. Well, the tip I have for you is to get a piece of cardboard or styrofoam and cut it to the exact size of whatever you're hanging, whether it's a mirror, or a TV, or a big picture. Because this weighs a pound, the TV weighs 100 pounds. And Inevitably, you're going to have to hold it there 10 minutes while they make up their minds. So. I guess he's referring to me when he says that. Um, I'm looking to decide which size lamp that I'm going to use and see how the height will play with the different lamps. So I pulled a, one of my taller lamps from my dining room um, to see if I like that look as opposed to a shorter lamp or kind of figure out a design in my mind so when I go shopping I'll know what size lamp I want to purchase. Um, so right now I'm going to look at this to see how um, I want this height wise. And that looks good but you need to up it on the right hand side just a tad. I don't know if it's cut a little, there you go. Um, maybe raise it just a tad. Yeah, I think I like the high look. It gives it more of a um, grandness and when we're laying in the bed and we're watching the show I think it'll be better on our necks to have it to that height because um, we kind of prop so ourselves is the, up. Is that the lamp you're going to use? I'm not sure yet but maybe. Uh, no these lamps came from the other room so I'm sure I'll be hunting lamps I'm confessing right now. But anyway so put it at the four and I think that'll be I think perfect. That's four. I'm just glad I'm not holding up a TV right now. Yeah, I'm glad you're not too because you can right, so have me. We're looking at the four, okay. Well, Kelly uh, got me a new stuff finder. The next thing we got to do is figure out where they're at. And I really like the new one. It also detects if there's an electrical line behind the wall, which it says there is. And you simply slide it along and it will let you know not just the center of the stud, but right where each side of the stud is. So now we know right where to put our hole. All right, next we mount the brackets to the TV. You want to be sure you have your tilt adjustment to the outside of the TV where you can reach your hand in and tilt it and not facing in. So make sure your left's on the left and right's on the right. Well, next we'll put the bracket on there and then we'll measure up from the bottom of the TV at the height she chose to find out where to put the holes. And don't freak out if you get the bracket on the wall a little off. It does have a built-in level, but the space bracket here, it's loosened and it can tilt to the left or to the right and you can get it perfectly level because the odds of getting it perfectly level on the wall are not that good. Now we got that, we'll just... And that's it mounted and it, it can swing out and face one way or the other and push all the way up against the wall. Well, that's the finished product. It looks, turned out good proportionately. We appreciate y'all watching. It's, it's storming outside right now. We'll see you on the next one.